Hello and welcome again to another episode of the Long Gone News of Rock Show's Waterfront Wednesdays. Today we're going to talk about the Waterfront release, This Nightmare by Ratcat. This Nightmare came out in 1989 and it is just such a great power pop record. It is dripping in buzzcocks. It's got that nice late 70s, you know, punk sound, but also mixing it with this great 80s power pop. And, you know, still has those fuzzed out guitars that, you know, Rat Cat were known for. When the band blew up, uh, it was over an EP called Tingles. I'm sure we all already know that. But Tingles is such a good EP, and to this day, it holds up. It is such a great EP. You know, the the songs on it are just fantastic. The guitar tone on it's great. The drumming on it's great. Uh, just everything about that EP rules. But this Nightmare, it's a lot more raw, but, you know, it still has all those things that made Rat Cat great. And... I remember going to Seeing Ears and I said to the guy, I said, hey, I'm looking for the early Rat Cat stuff. And the guy said, oh, yeah, yeah, we've got one of the records here. And he went and grabbed it and he pulled out this nightmare and he handed it to me and he goes, the opening track is going to blow your mind. And I said, oh, really? Let's hear it. So he put on the record and on came the song Go Go, which just blew my mind. It was such a great song. I bought the record immediately from just hearing Go Go. I didn't even bother to listen to any of the other songs. I just took the headphones off and said, yeah, yeah, I'm going to buy this for sure. And I bought the record and, uh, you know, I remember reading the lyrics and everything on the way home. Uh, there you are. There's the inner sleeve there. And it's signed by Simon Andrew and actually Mark Scully because when I met Rat Cat uh, the first time, uh, they actually had Mark in the band. Armour was gone. It was on the Candyman tour that I met them the first time and that's when I took my records along to get signed I wasn't expecting to get Mark's signature on it because uh, I you know he didn't play on the record but you know like he was the one that got me backstage to meet the rest of the band so I felt bad by not saying oh thanks for letting me in backstage you can go now I'll get the other guys signed but 
Uh, yeah, lovely dude. Mark Scully, lovely dude. Great bass player too. He runs a studio now called Studio 57 in Sydney. So if you're interested, there you go. Uh, but yeah, this has got all the lyrics on it, which is cool. Uh, so there's the lyrics to Go Go and that. You know, we'll go through this album. I like this record a lot. Um, Go Go, like a, you know, what more can be said about Go Go that I haven't already said? It's a fantastic opener. You know, it's got that three chord fuzz tone, you know, garage rock pop punk thing going on, you know, and it's just a great rocker. You know, it's got a good beat to it. You know, it's uh, it's catchy. It's fun. Uh, as it goes on, we got everything is happening again. Uh, then you got this song called True Lust, which is like about falling in love in, when you're in kindergarten, and uh, it's it's such a bizarre song. I mean, it's a fun song. It's it's got that Shangri La's sound to it. You know, like um, you know, like leader of the pack thing. You know, I met her at the candy store. But they say, I met her in the kindergarten. She wore her hair in pigtails. She had teeth like a rabbit. And I know she loved to eat snails. Like, such bizarre lyrics. But, you know, that's just how it is. Then you've got uh, Tonight, Today, and The Killing Joke. Now, The Killing Joke is a fantastic song. And I remember seeing the video for that on Rage the first time. And I was immediately captivated by it. Not only because it's... Uh, it does it have... Is that Naomi Watts... That's in the video because I know she's in the video for that ain't bad, but is that a younger Naomi Watts in the Killing Joke? I don't know. I can't remember. But anyway, that video, I remember it was filmed at Peter Shimin. Is that right? Am I correct in saying that? I think it was filmed at the Peter Shimin. Yeah, it's a fun, fun song. Great song. I love that uh, chorus, you know. Really good song. It goes into She's a Gas. She's a Gas is a great song. And then uh, you've got If I Said and Feel So Good. But then, you know, it just before it finishes, you've got Baby's Got a Gun, which was also released in 7-inch, but we'll get to that. But that's such a fantastic song. And then you've got the Eyeball Mutiny, which is such a bizarre closer. But it, it's a good song, but it's such a bizarre closer. And yeah, that is This Nightmare. It's not a long record, but it is a great record. And uh, there's a back cover. Simon Day did all the artwork, which I think is really, really cool. I like his artwork. There's a picture of the band. Andrew Poland, where are you? I'm doing a book on the entire discography of Waterfront Records where I am trying to interview every single band member that had something to do with the release on Waterfront Records. I'm also interviewing engineers, the people who did the artwork, etc., etc. I'm looking for Andrew Poland, though, because he not only did Ratcat stuff, but he was also involved with uh, Mass Appeal, and I really would love to talk to him about his work with the Waterfront band. So, Andrew, if you're watching this, Please contact me. I would love to speak to you about this because I feel your voice is important and should be heard. But anyway, Ratcat are still going to this day, still playing shows, sporadically, but still playing. They released an acoustic record last year, and then they did these. Uh, they did this one-off show, which was like acoustic and then electric. I hope they come back to Melbourne and play a show, and I hope that the Thorazines can open for them because uh, we're massive Ratcat fans. And... We covered uh, the song Go Go on the tribute to Waterfront Records. So, yeah, I would just love to play with Rackhead. It's like a dream, you know, to play with them because it's just one of my favourite bands of all time. Damp 103, This Nightmare, 1989, by the band Ratcat. If you don't know this record, you love the Buzzcocks, you love the Ramones, power pop stuff that the Ramones did, give this a whirl. I think you'd be into it. Thank you for watching another episode of the Long Gone Lose the Rock Show's Waterfront Wednesdays. I'll see you again next Wednesday with another Waterfront release. Take care, look after yourselves, go buy some records. She is my guest.